Hello, good afternoon. I am taking you with me today on our final two show day at Battle of Hell the Musical. What a ride it has been. I think we're in for an emotional one. Um, I will try and show you as much as I can of a day in the life at Battle of Hell for one last time. I'm just arriving at the Peacock Theatre which has got all of our posters on one last time. Ooh. One of the best parts about Battle of Hell is our fans. Woo! Check them all out here. These guys have seen like 300, 400, 500, 600 shows. It's mental and we are so grateful for their support. Woo! We have come into work today to these on our desks, which shows everywhere Battle of Hell has been since 2017 to now. It makes you realize just how many places we've been. My favorite bit is Obsidian. It's gonna be great. How many times have we all cried today so far? I've been in sad and tearful. She's feeling sad and tearful. Yeah, we've all just we cried. to cry. <laughs> we are here in our t-shirts. <laughs> Ready for one final warm up. There it is. One final warm up in Obsidian at the Peacock Theatre. The other thing everyone likes to do is get programs and posters and musical scores signed by everyone to take home for the Mims. It's warm up time. Final parish notices. We have a special guest with us today. Hey, Jay. Our director, Jay. The beat is yours forever. As always, for safety, we do our fight call. This is just to make sure that everyone is okay with all the fight choreography, all the timing is okay, and nobody gets a smack in the face. Right, so we are in the middle of show number one, so I thought I'd show you round uh, a little bit of backstage. And this is how we uh, get our costumes on and stuff backstage. Generally, there's not enough time to go back to changing rooms. So we have wardrobe village back here, and each person has a chair with their shoes and accessories underneath. And then our lovely dresses here at the Peacock lay out all of our stuff ready to put on like this. So that it's easy and ready to go and we don't have to worry about anything. Something else I can show you is our props table. All nicely, neatly organised with labels. We've got the shirt there, rag, knife, some diaries, some pills. Everything is stored in these trundles at the side of stage ready for us to grab. Ooh, and you can hear Sharon singing in the background. Here. We have our DSM Ellie calling the show and we can watch everything that's going on up here on a screen that shows us the show live. And here is the face prop for today. Tay decided to draw a lovely moustache and some glasses on Kelly in our silly matinee. So that is show number one complete. We are now on our dinner break, so we are going to have a pizza party today because it is our last day, so we're going to have a pizza party together. We take our microphones out so that the battery packs can be um, replaced. We take our wigs off so that the wiggies can prep all the wigs nice and fresh for the last show. And we eat food, have naps, have fun, etc, etc. Ready for show number two, which is our last one ever! How are we feeling? <laughs> Sad times. Yeah. Sean. And for one final time, Mimi the Mullet makes her entrance. The enigma, the mystery to us all, the icon, the true star of this show, <laughs> Glenn Adamson, eat your heart out. <laughs> yeah. Mimi the Mullet. Oh, Mimi. The last time. Wow. We've been through some, some days together. Been through some days. Beams. We've been through some transformations. She's been through a lot. She's been bright pink. She's been muted pink. She's had hair added to her. 
Yeah. Her, what else have we done? She's had many a shape, hasn't she? Yeah, she's she's formed different yeah, shapes. All yeah, the time. she's been restyled a lot. Back combed within an inch of her life. Uh, I have a love hate relationship with Mimi. I had to tell myself that I loved her because, honestly, look at the state of it. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> she'll get like that. She'll get offended. Yeah. If if I if I uh, talk badly about it, she gets upset and then she misbehaves. So, yeah, she takes off on stage. Mimi the mullet. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honour and a privilege. If you appear again in the future of Battle of Hell, I can only apologise to the person who has to wear it. <laughs> she does you dirty in every photo that every fan ever takes. But. Mimi She's Mullet. She's memorable though. Everybody knows her. She Everyone does. Everyone always comments She's Mullet. She's an Mullet. icon. And she knows it. That's why she's a diva. Over right. and out from Mimi. Thanks, Ella. <laughs>